Hi, I'm Mike Davidson with Gunworks, and today I want to just go over some of the field kit items that we've put together to help make your experience with your muzzleloader a little better. Uh, over the years, we've kind of put a list together of the stuff that we like to have in our kit, whether at the range or out in the field, that, that help us get the most out of our muzzleloader. Uh, obviously, we have some, some patches and some cleaning solvent that comes with that just to help with the maintenance. Um, some stuff that we found that works really well. We send you another package with some pretty cool items in it. A lot of times when you're, when you're out hunting, you're not by power. There's no way to plug a scale in or, or anything like that. And so uh, one tool that we found very useful is a battery operated scale. We're measuring our powder by weight, uh, not by volume. And so having a, having a battery powered scale there that we can dump our powder in, weigh our charges, fill up our charge tubes is very convenient. So this is a pretty cool item that uh, has come in handy a lot. Uh, another must have item is the tools to remove your breech plug. The easiest and the, the fastest thing that we've been able to put together that makes the most sense is just a small ratchet, a couple extensions, and the socket that fits your breech plug. These are, these are pretty lightweight, put a rubber band around them, keep them from making noise, throw them back in your kit. That can go in the bottom of your backpack for that just in case moment when you need to pull your breech plug out if you, if you have a misfire or you need to do some quick service. So that's, that's, a, that's a must have tool that you're going to need in your, in your field kit. That being said, I think it's very nice to have a backup breech plug, okay? Um, for some reason you get an occlusion or an obstruction breech plug's not working right, you've got a backup if you need it. Uh, the other tool in there that goes along with the breech plug is, uh, is a small drill bit that fits that flash hole in case you get some obstructions in there or some, some carbon buildup and you, you're getting some misfires or some hang fires, okay? If you choose to use the bullet starter, especially at the range when, when you've got a lot more time to seat that bullet, here's a bullet starter for you, it's kind of handy. some anti-seize. This kind of goes along with your maintenance stuff. Every time that breech plug comes out or goes back in, should get a little bit of anti-seize on it. That's going to keep it lubed up, it's going to keep it from freezing up in there, and it's just going to make taking it in and out a lot easier. So you've got a little anti-seize in there. Along with the maintenance, we've got a brush and a jag for you. It goes with the patch. You notice this, this bag of patches is pretty big. Typically I'll just get a smaller baggie, take a few out, put them in my field kit. The other thing I like to do is I've got my maintenance tools and the stuff that I'm going to use sometimes or, or just in case, but then I have my package of stuff that I know I'm going to use, okay? It, in this, and I'll usually take this out and put it in the top of my backpack or, or keep it real handy. Uh, this is my shooting stuff. So in here I've got my powder funnel. Uh, typically the muzzle loaders come with a muzzle brake and this powder funnel has a longer spout and that's going to get you past the muzzle brake and, and so you don't get any kernels of powder or something in your muzzle brake. So I keep that in my, in my shooting bag. And then also in there I've got a, a baggie that has extra bullets, sabots, primers, and charged powder tubes. So we've used the scale, we've filled up the tubes, we put this in our kit for the day. Hopefully we don't need 10 shots, but just in case it's here and it's ready to go. So. Over the years, just learning uh, a little bit more about the muzzle loader, having experienced some of these situations where we need to get the breech plug out, being in the back country and not having power, a way to measure out powder, uh, keeping things separate so you're not yard selling your whole backpack. You can just grab your shooting bag if you need to walk up to that next ridge and shoot. Uh, we've tried to put a kit together uh, that gives you all the essentials and the stuff that you're going to need. It's easy to purchase the rifle, think about the rangefinder, or maybe the bipod, but a lot of guys don't think about the small accessories that's going to give them a little better experience, and so that's what we've tried to do for you. So ask your salesman about it if you don't have one, and if you're buying a new muzzleloader, make sure you get this put on your, on your invoice and, and you'll enjoy it. <laughs>